Is our world haunted? Are you into the supernatural aspect of life? Or do you only go about your days and not really think about such intense things? Well, I've always been very intrigued by the unknown world that only lies next door. Within a heartbeat away, we all will know what lies in the alternate existence. We living beings can only wonder and possibly catch a fleeting glimpse. There are many haunted roads in America, such as Route 491 or 666, known as Devil's Highway, with a high fatality rate. Along a New Mexico stretch of lonely highway, watching a phantom semi-truck passing by and then disappearing into the fog. seeing supernatural hellhounds on the side of the road to foretell an unforeseen accident. A woman hitchhiker needing a ride and then disappearing. Phantoms floating across the road and even a speeding ghostly sedan. Stories such as these pertain to many roads and stretches of dark, lonely lanes throughout the U.S. with names such as Bloody Bride Bridge, Boy Scout Lane, a truck stop on Missouri Route 66 to be a portal from where lost ghostly spirits attach themselves to truckers wanting to go home. Stagecoach Road in Marshall, Texas Sand Hill Road of Las Vegas, Nevada, where tunnels lie underneath, full of stories, eerie noises, voices, deemed true by the homeless population living in the tunnels, called the Mole People. Amongst many other stories across the country, here in Colorado, there stretches one such road in the mountains, so named Gold Camp Road, with sharp drop-offs, Three haunted tunnels, two to collapse, and now untraveled. Phantom Canyon Road with a dark tunnel being watched by a lone shadow figure sending you on your way to the next ghost town. Third Bridge, where if you stop, as my friends and I witnessed, far off war drums and footsteps of marching soldiers and gunshots. I have wanted to film a series of what can be considered one of the most haunted roads in the country that I have traveled hundreds of times in many years, traveling around Colorado, an 11 mile stretch of road named Riverdale. I shall recite a few of my own stories that have happened to me in this series. But first, a bit of history and tribute stories to those who have been lost and found on this very dark and winding old country road. But first, the story and life of a young girl who went missing from her job at a nearby Circle K to give a man a ride home only to disappear onto Riverdale Road. Heidi Rose Ursula McGuire went to her job at this Circle K, now an out-of-the-way Mexicana restaurant next to a very seedy and dark corner liquor store. A former new high school graduate, she accepted the job undeterred, although her brother and other family and friends feared for her safety. She was also going to community college for accounting, known to be trusting and helpful to her peers. On Christmas Day of 1987, 
Heidi Rose had finished her work day, two days before her last day at the gas station. She had found another day job, but customer Donald Vernell had come into the store and asked Heidi Rose for a ride home. Witnesses would see him walking with Heidi to her car. This was the last time she was seen alive. Vanell would say she did drive him home. She went into his house for a short time and he gave her a soft drink. Then she would leave. Of course, he did not confess. Five days later, her 1978 Chevrolet Monza car would be found in a ditch here on 116th and Riverdale Road. Then on Valentine's Day, two fox hunters would find her body near 90th and Riverdale, now the Pelican Ponds Wildlife Refuge, only two miles from where she lived with her brother. She had been hit in the head by blunt force trauma. Soon Donald Vanell too would die and the case would go cold with no other leads or confessions. We are in Pelican Ponds Wildlife Preserve. It's a very beautiful place. I'll tell you the story of what happened here many years ago. And why they tried to make it a very beautiful place. Part of the Riverdale Road story. The haunted tale of why this road is so haunted. And they've paved it and made it into a city road instead of a country road. Located here at Pelican Ponds was the first farmer of this land in 1859, the Wolpert family. David Wolpert would travel from Ohio to New Mexico, then Colorado, lured by the gold rush. Unsure whether he ended up in Colorado or California. Like many to decide on the Colorado gold rush with a party of 16 men. They were driven back by the Native Americans. He decided instead to farm here on Riverdale Road. In 1864, he would marry his wife, Catherine, and would have his children, Lucille, Mary, and David Jr. to build a beautiful mansion with a large stone fireplace and stained glass windows. To stand the test of time, and when the Wolperts would all perish, David in 1909 and Catherine in 1915, the house would continue to house tenants and at times be vacant and vandalized by dark worship and trespassers. 
And right here, about 50 yards from Riverdale Road, two fox hunters would find Heidi Rose's McGuire's body in the snow. David Wolpart would convert his land into one of the finest farms around. His legend would continue where they would say he went insane and one night he set his mansion on fire with his family inside where only the walls would stand. Some tales become far-fetched as time goes on, but yet there was a fire. In the 1970s, a drive to save the old home would begin with a group of historical loving people wanting to save the old mansion. Yet on November 20th, 1975, a 911 call was made about a house on fire on Riverdale Road and the mansion burned to the ground. The old burnt out mansion stood for many years overgrown, the old iron gates to be known as gates of hell, guarded by hellhounds, trespassers and paranormal seekers longing to hear the growl of the hounds and eerie voices of the Wolpert family telling you to A fitting setting of this beautiful park where nature and the spirits of this land and Heidi Rose Ursula McGuire can rest easy in peace. During the daytime. Where now we can travel to the oldest cemetery in Colorado, Riverside Cemetery, and pay tribute to the Wolpert family. Then on to Highland Cemetery, and pay our respects to Heidi Rose Ursula McGuire. David Wolpert, 1833-1909, and wife Catherine, 1844 to 1915. Son David Jr., 1867 to 1936. And his wife Grace Estelle Young, 1870 to 1948. And her father, George Henry Young, a Civil War soldier, he passed away age 82, and he is buried at Evans Cemetery in Weld County, Colorado. Along with daughter Louise Wolpert Stover, 1875 to 1942, we pay tribute to this family with peace and love to them forever.
Heidi Rose McGuire, 1969 to 1987. Finally found her. Took us a little bit to find her. We had to go to the office. But Flowers. And some snow good. A cute story about finding Heidi. Meadow and I were looking for her a few days ago at this time, and we went up and down the rows. But alas, couldn't find her grave. Both Meadow and I heard laughter. As being sensitive, we asked Heidi to, to please show us where she was, and we felt we were in the right area, just up from the Garden of the Roses sign then over a little. Yet we were happy to come back. We went to the office to locate Heidi in another grave as well. They are happy to have visitors. We are always glad we can tell their story and leave a gift. And asking is fun. Very happy to tell your story. Very sorry what happened to you. Garden of the Roses. Heidi Rose McGuire. got here the other day and that tent was over here and we walked straight up from the sign and I checked all over here but we had just mowed and so maybe she was covered up she has marble around her stone but it's very very covered up so she's Ground. We found her. Pay our respects to Miss Heidi Rose McGuire. There we go.
please stay tuned for part two of my harrowing Haunted Riverdale Road series. Thank you for watching. Always stay strong, my rock star friends. <laughs>